Hey guys, welcome back to Road America in the Formula 3. Let's hope it's the third time lucky. I say that quite a bit this season. But, uh, yeah, my last race didn't go so well. Didn't even make it half a lap. Uh, it's probably my fault. It's probably about three or four other cars' fault, but let's move on. Car 6, qualified 7. That's the end of the session. P7. 58.3. It's like 1.2 seconds faster than my qualifying time. Um in what's it called my first race this week so steadily been getting faster and faster and faster <clears throat> this morning i have changed my drivetrain uh, made it longer by one click from second to fifth and six gear was already one click down so um i just find Instead of changing one gear, I've changed all of them, and they all marry up a lot better. And um, <clears throat> especially when gearing down in the corners, it doesn't pull you up as much, and you get a bit more flow. Um, also, yesterday I went one click down on the heave spring just to make the front a little bit softer. My theory was um, in my first race the tires went off, and I thought maybe there's um, a bit too uh, firm at the front. And um, once you lose a front and correct, it starts wiggling and I overthink this way too much. Tyres, I've gone up one click from 124 to 128. That's about it. Let's check some fuel. 25 litres. Top split. And it's hot. Jumped in the session, it was 37. In qualifying, it went up four degrees to 41. Now it's down to 39. So hopefully the crew chief will keep us updated. Good luck, everyone. Got the inside line. I liked the outside line yesterday because everyone braked really hard on turn one. Loic the track temp is 38 Celsius. The air temp is 29 Celsius. All right, Glenn, let's get this right. No fuck ups. Green, green, green. On your left. Hold your line. That was me who braked too early then. Hold your line. Clear to the left. Let's not have a repeat of yesterday, guys. Yellow flag, caution, starts all right. Let's build on it. Espèce d'abrutive, mais t'es vraiment un con, toi. Exactly the same spot. Right. Uh, oh my god, just stand still, you. Oh. Exactly the same as yesterday. The track temperature is decreasing. It's now 36 Celsius. Well, we like a colder track. Now, in a colder track earlier, about 36, the gap in front I did a 57 now about, uh, with about 4 litres left. So calm down, get into a rhythm, see how we go. These guys were all fast. The 57.9 in qualifying for Loic and um, Fabio did. It was quicker than that. P5. The last. So 
we've just had the update today. Um, it's almost two hours the server was down, and I thought I'd be able to fix my issue with the, um, the full screen. To no avail. Getting closer. The gap's now 9.9 .9 seconds. And what's happening is my full screen is actually covering four screens. I'll do game catcher, it's nice and smooth, but for me personally on the screens, it's um, very flickery. The leader has just done a one fifty eight point three. That was a two zero zero point four. Yeah, that was crap. With these temperatures and fuel, I expect a fifty eight today. Looks like P4 has gone off in turn 8. Temperature is falling, it's now 34 Celsius. Well, that's what we want. The leader has just done a 158.0. That was the best I could do the other day. And there's a lot more in the tank. Just being bloody too cautious. I think just go for it.
leader has just done a 157.8. Yep. P5, you've just done a 159.3. That's your best lap in the session. Front is increasing, it's now 2.2 seconds. We're getting away from the guys behind, so that's something. I really like to push forward today. This guy's faster, he just makes too many, making a lot of mistakes. I need to start looking at Christian actually. I don't think we're catching him. Seven point five. Who is the leader? Franco. has increased to 2.5. Just. <laughs> your lap time was 158.9. That's your fastest lap today.
The gap ahead is now 3.1. That auto blip has made a difference. Back to the 59s. By 58, it was nice knowing you, buddy. The truck temperature is increasing. It's now 36 Celsius. Consistency, keep them coming. The gap in front has increased to three point nine seconds. <laughs> Bye Fabian. Okay Glenn, we're halfway home. We estimate seven laps of fuel remaining. in front has increased. It's now about 5.3 seconds. Yeah. Should be right, Nackers.
Fabio and Christian are uh, right there. Focus on the Delta and squeeze more time out. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 6.1 seconds. Stuff that up. One or two extra k's at the end of the straight. Six, seven. Those guys are fully cutting that corner. The leader's just done a 157.3. I think Christian's slowly creeping up to Fabio. Okay, 11 laps in, 15 seconds behind. Gotta be there. The gap in front is now seven point four seconds. Scripts on the carousel. The other day, 59.1 was my best lap, but they were mid-59s all the way through. So I've knocked out like three or four tenths. A lot of it comes to these things, me balls. Just been a little bit too nervous. It's now about 8.3 seconds.
Lap times are pretty consistent. I'm losing a lot of time in that corner. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 8.5. What I love about racing, even though you might be on your own, you're micromanaging every tiny little thing, maximise everything. Track temps increasing. It's now 38 Celsius. Yeah, it's increasing in this room too. So it was these two laps which were so crucial in my first race this way. Two to go. The lap time was at 159.4. in front has increased to 9.3 seconds. Oh good. Christian staying right on Fabio's ass. So. Could be a podium if they play around with each other. Yellow flag. So he's Looks damaged. like P4 has binned it in turn 8. The gap to B behind is now 19 seconds. Let's see if he's damaged. The track temperature's rising. It's now 41 Celsius. You know what I mean? That's went from 34 to 41. Through the road. P3 has binned it in Canada Corner. There's that little white flag that we all love. Can we be five and a half seconds faster than Christian? One more lap to go. He's limping. Maximise this bit by the best top speed. front is now 2.2.
On your right. Clear right. Push, 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 or we'll lose this place. Come on, Glenn. Good stuff. Keep it coming. Right side. Clear right. I'm not gonna fly tonight. Well, that race changed, didn't it? <laughs> and there's the finish. Good result, mate. Well done. Good race, guys. P4. Could have been on the podium, but I know if I had taken on that guy, he would have wiped me out and himself. He's been on... He'd been off how many times? Come on, mouse. Be nice. So he'd already made a mistake, I think, a lap earlier. And we were catching this guy. He was... I reckon he was pretty damaged. Yeah, you would have to say that's a fair amount of damage. It's just gone wide and you hit the marbles or whatever. It just could just be the Red Bull livery, to be honest. And Christian's still out in front of you. I was way too cautious. I wasn't sure what he was going to do. But he kind of hugged it and went under steering what will happen with no wing. Now, I just saw the run that this guy had. I know he's had to back it off, but that close, there's an actual slipstream. And this is where I was just hoping he'd make another mistake, to be honest. <laughs> well, that race changed, didn't it? <laughs> Still, buddy. Good race, guys. 32 seconds away from first place. Before I go, let's have a look at buddy. What happened up here? No point looking at him, but Ross quit out. I was taking it easy. Uh, that's me right there, and I'll wait for something to happen here. Please, Ross had a good run. Wow! The whole field. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> Look at this. 
It's freaking carnage. <laughs> Espèce d'abruti, mais t'es vraiment un con, toi. Great. Um, just like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> so this guy was behind me. Espèce d'abruti, va, mais <laughs> Ross will be kicking himself over that. <clears throat> Ross is a very fast driver. Is there another view that we could do? Ah, oh, a bit knackers. Let's see the whole thing. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Especially when me right in the middle dodges it. So yesterday there was a crash right here, and this is where I went out and uh, had Jesus in front of me, and we kind of braked and went right. But you see, yeah, those two cars that have collided just past Ross. It was, it's just you're fiddling over each other, and in the moment, you know, you're going 230 k's, 240 k's an hour. Just want to get through it. So I've just avoided Ross, and I'm on the grass, and I can still see carnage ahead of me. <laughs> and you just don't know which way they're going to bounce off each other. <sighs> just got lucky. That's when I'm like, this, I'm out of here. But it wasn't just these guys, was it? Far out. Well, fourth place in a top split. Let's see how that worked out for us. I lost like a hundred and something high rating yesterday. I've gained 50 today. That's something. 125 points. Not bad. It's got the one ink in that lap one. I will take that. That will not be a drop round now. Uh, so that also, because I've had, I was expecting to crash out, to be honest. Um, that also leaves me with one more race to go for the week in the Formula 3s, which I'll probably do, but I need to... Put me head down now for the Classic Lotus Championship. Get me gearbox sorted out. And um, yeah, it's going to be a very hard track at Barber Motorsports this week. But look at the times these guys are doing. 57.2, That was one lap. This Franco just kept slowly knocking his laps down. Evan is James Robinson, 
Look at all those people out. Out of 17, 18 cars, nine cars didn't finish a lap. Well, they finished, they were shit. Didn't even register a time. The half the field. Welcome to Formula 3. Anyway, I'm babbling. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Down if you didn't. Make sure you subscribe and I'll keep pumping these puppies out. Got away with that one. <laughs> See you next time.